We've made Sabre grills easy to assemble, so you'll be grilling in no time. You'll need a 3 8 inch drive ratchet with 7 16 inch socket or a 7 16 inch combination wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. Grill assembly takes approximately 45 minutes start to finish. Step 1. To begin, place the front and rear cart half assemblies on a work surface with the caster mounting holes facing up. Next, orient the halves so they are facing each other. Step 2. Install the four cart connectors into the tubing on the front half of the cart. You'll use four quarter 25 8 inch bolts with quarter inch washers bolting through the tubing and into the cart connector. Use your fingers to tighten. Next, slide the rear half of the cart toward the front half to engage the cart connectors with the cart rear half tubing and secure in four places using the quarter 25 8 inch bolts and quarter inch washers. Tighten all bolts securely. Step 3. Open the cart doors and slide the bottom shelf assembly into the cart. Attach the bottom shelf using 6 quarter 25 8 inch bolts and quarter inch washers. Install bolts and washers in all six locations as indicated in your instructions. Tighten all bolts securely. Step 4. First, lock the swivel casters by depressing the locking tab on each caster by hand. Rotating clockwise, screw the casters into the caster mounting holes at the corners of the cart. Tighten the casters securely by hand. Unlock the swivel casters by raising the locking tab. With the assistance of a helper, turn the cart over onto the casters. Step 5. First, lower the tank exclusion shelf into the assembled cart. Then insert the horizontal rear wire into the wire retainer on the rear panel first. And lower the vertical wire into the corresponding wire retainer. Next, secure the tank exclusion shelf with two 1024 3 8 inch machine screws. The side panel screw should be inserted from outside the cart. The second screw should be inserted through the wire shelf leg and into the bottom shelf. Step 6. First, remove all cooking grates, emitter plates, and the warming rack from the firebox. With the assistance of your helper, Place the firebox onto the cart assembly by locating the connectors into the open tubes at each corner of the cart. Use four quarter 25 8 inch bolts and quarter inch washers to secure the firebox. If the firebox connectors are difficult to align properly, slightly loosen the bolts on the firebox side. Be sure to tighten all bolts securely when complete. Step 7. Locate the side shelf mounting holes on the right hand side of the firebox. Partially install a quarter 25 8 inch bolt into the top holes. Then position the side shelf assembly over these two bolts and allow it to drop down into the keyhole slot. Install the two remaining quarter 25 8 inch bolts into the bottom holes and tighten all bolts securely. Repeat this step for the left side shelf with side burner. Step 8. To connect the gas supply hose fitting to the side burner valve manifold, Place fitting over side burner valve manifold and release the lock collar. Next, check to see that the fitting is secure. Raise the side burner lid and place the side burner cooking grate into position. Insert the side burner igniter wire through the hole in the firebox side panel to position it for connection to the igniter module. Step 9. First, open the cart doors. Remove the ignition module battery cap and plastic nut. Connect all wires to the ignition module as noted in the assembly guide. Insert the ignition module with wires into the heat shield and secure by hand using the plastic nut. Now install the battery into the ignition module. Be sure to install the battery with the positive terminal out. Replace the ignition module battery cap. Step 10. Open the cart doors. Place a door handle at the top of the door. Aligning the screw holes. Secure with two 1024 3 8 inch machine screws. Repeat for the other door. Step 11. Replace the emitter plates, taking care to ensure that the peaks of the emitter plate with holes are facing up. Replace all cooking grates and the warming rack. The emitter holes should be located under the cooking grate bars when assembly is correct. Step 12. Connect your propane tank and start up your new Sabre grill.